Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to take a brief look at this Dutton Lanson hand winch with automatic brake. This Dutton Lanson industrial winch is designed for standard duty vertical lifting operations and the handle is positioned on the left for left-handed use and you're going to simply crank the handle clockwise to lift your load and then counterclockwise to lower the load. And the automatic braking mechanism is going to stop the load when the hand cranking stops. And right here you do see the uh, brake pad. Um, hopefully you can see that right there. And uh, I don't obviously have uh, any tension on this, so uh, I won't be able to adequately demonstrate that for you. The handle length overall is about seven inches long. There we go, about seven inches long. And uh, this, so this is gonna be perfect for grain augers, boat lifts, and other industrial applications. This has a capacity of 1,200 pounds, and then at minimum load is 50 pounds. This is made here in the USA, and it features a zinc tough plate base and hardware and a powder coated silver reel. The wheel hub diameter is two and a half inches and I took some overall measurements of this winch uh, before our time together. So beginning by looking at the overall length uh, from this end all the way to the end of our reel here, we're sitting at about seven and a half inches long. The overall width and I'm including uh, the attachment here where our handle gets attached to. We're sitting roughly about six inches wide. And then the overall height from the base all the way to the top of our reel, we're sitting at about six and three quarters inches tall. And looking at the base, let me give you a, a view of the base here. We're looking at about five inches long by three and seven eighths inches wide. Instructions are included with this winch to walk you through uh, some of the features uh, a little more in depth than what we were able to do. And um, on this product page, there are some additional uh, information. I don't know if I mentioned the gear ratio on this is 5.4 to one. So if there's some other um, bits of information that you're looking for, make sure to check out this product page if you're not on there already. And there's a table on there and everything as well with some additional information that uh, you might find helpful. Well, that's gonna conclude our brief look today. I do hope that it was helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.